We've got a lot of work ahead of us. I had to start my day off right with a holiday Starbucks drink. This is a chestnut praline latte with vanilla sweet cream cold foam. So good. Hey friends. So today is going to be the start of a big unhaul series that I'm going to be doing. It's going to be multiple parts, little life update. I am moving in January. I'm moving out of my apartment and into a townhouse and I'm so excited. But that means I need to cleanse my book collection. I have a massive book collection. I don't know the exact number. I do know that it is over a thousand books. In the townhouse, it's two stories. So my new office library is going to be upstairs stairs and I was like there's no way in hell I'm carrying all of my books upstairs <laughs> so we're hiring movers okay but I still feel like I want to go through all my books and unhaul a lot just refresh the collection make sure I'm not moving anything that I don't want so like I said this is going to be a big process it's going to be multiple videos another reason why I do want to split it up into these smaller sections is I'm going to be getting rid of all of the books by myself. So I wanted to make it easier for me instead of like doing a massive unhaul all at once and then having to transport hundreds of books somewhere. I wanted to do it in smaller increments. This first episode, I'm gonna be going through what's actually on my bookshelves and taking off anything that I no longer feel like I wanna read or if there's any books that I've read that I don't really feel a connection to like I wanna keep. We're gonna be going through what's physically on my shelves. Then I think we're gonna have another episode where I'm just going through my book of the month books because I have hundreds of those. I've been working with book of the month for years so I have so many of their books. We're gonna be going through all of my ARCs, my advanced reader copies, and I think I'm going to take those actually to little free libraries around my neighborhood and we can have some fun going to those and exploring them. And then lastly, the hardest part is tackling my closet. So I have a confession to make. Any time in the past that I've done an unhaul, at least in the past couple of years, whether it was in a video or just like by myself deciding to unhaul books, I never actually got rid of them. My intention was to get rid of them. However, I'm lazy and I procrastinate, so I would always just put the books in the closet. But once things go in the closet, they no longer exist to me, okay? I am like a baby with object permanence. If I can't see something, it doesn't exist. So I have hundreds of books that I've technically unhauled in my closet. I don't even know what's in there. So that is going to probably be the last thing that we tackle. So yeah, like I said, today we are going through what is physically on my shelves and seeing if there's anything on here that I'm just not interested in anymore. I think at the end of this video, I'm going to take everything over to my local half price books and sell them just so I can get rid of them immediately because I know if I leave it, I'm never going to do it. So this series is also keeping me accountable. You guys are going to keep me accountable through these videos and make sure that I actually commit to getting rid of the books. <laughs> Before we do get into going through all my shelves, I do just want to talk about a readathon that I'm doing on my Patreon. I didn't really know where else to talk about this, so we're just going to do it right here. So the readathon is taking place on November 26th to the 27th. It is a cozy weekend readathon, and what's really fun is I created this map of challenges. Essentially, the like story of the readathon is that you are invited to join me at a tea party, and in order to attend the tea party, you must collect three items, and you collect these items by following along the map and completing the challenges associated with each item. It's really just going to be like a fun, low-pressure, cozy readathon. We're going to be doing reading sprints. There's also a private Discord chat where we're going to be talking about all the books that we're reading and our progress throughout the weekend. It's if you've ever considered joining my Patreon or thought about it, now would be the perfect time to check it out and join us for this little readathon. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention that I don't want to like always be shoving like my Patreon in your face, but then I also want to like share what we're doing in case anyone is interested in it. So there we go. If you want to join, join. If not, totally fine. So I think that the best way to do this is I'm going to zoom you guys into each individual shelf and we can just take a look at what is on there and kind of go through all the books. This is also kind of going to be like a little bit of a bookshelf tour. I don't show you guys like my bookshelves that in depth. So this will also serve as that a little bit. And I think I'm just going to take down anything that I'm considering getting rid of and then we can sort of 
talk about them more and decide which ones I really want to keep and which ones I should get rid of. Okay, we're starting with these two shelves behind me. I don't know how much of me you guys can see. I don't think you guys can see me. Can you? Oh, I see my fingers. I don't see my face, so if you guys can see my face, hi. <laughs> so starting over here, the Song of Achilles, I read and I liked. I think I gave this one like 3.5, 4 stars. I do think that I want to keep it. I enjoyed it enough. We're going to keep it. This is one that I might take off. I don't know realistically if I'm ever going to read this. It's a historical Viking book, which like in theory sounds great to me, but... I've had it for a while. I am gonna keep Fingersmith. I do still really want to read this. This is a sapphic book that people recommend me a lot. Jane Steele is one of my favorite books, so definitely keeping that. Also keeping this whole Lady Sherlock series. I haven't read it yet, but it is on my list of things that I want to read. I actually have a couple videos planned out that I could read these for. Also, obviously, we're keeping Daughters of the Athena Club series, which is one of my all-time favorites. The Downstairs Girls I read, but I don't don't feel like I need to hold on to it so we'll pull that off. Pachinko is another book that I just I don't really know if realistically I would pick this up anymore so we'll pull that one down. The Chosen and the Beautiful I read and I didn't really care for it so we'll take that one off. The Fiona Mahoney mystery series I'm definitely keeping. I've only read the first book but I am hoping to read this one before the end of the year. And then The Corset is um, kind of a newer book that I got that I still really want to read so we'll keep that. The Lovely War I have read and I really enjoyed this book so I do want to keep that. Last Night at the Telegraph Club I haven't read this but I do still think I might read it one day. I've read both of these books and while they're not like favorites, I do feel like I still want to hold on to them. I don't really feel like I need to get rid of those. My Taylor Jenkins read collection. I'm definitely going to keep Evelyn Hugo and Daisy Jones, but I think we're going to pull off Malibu Rising because I did not like this book. I'm also going to pull this one off. This should be in my book of the month collection, so I think I'm going to move that over to those books and we'll talk about it whenever I get to those. The Shades of Milk and Honey series I'm gonna keep. I do have a video idea for these that I just haven't gotten to yet. The Lucky Ones I think I'm gonna hold on to. I don't know much about this book but I have read books by this author and I've enjoyed them. Outlander I'm keeping. I read that and I really liked it. Trouble of the Saints I also think I'm going to hold on to. So here's a little stack that I pulled off of those shelves. I think for sure I'm getting rid of these four. These three like I said I have read all of them and I just didn't really like any of them that much. These two I have not read. Pachinko I just don't really think is a book that I would reach for anymore. This one like I said is a Viking book which like sounds interesting to me but like realistically am I ever in the mood to pick up a Viking book? If if it has romance, yes. If not, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna keep this. Mirror Image, this is a book that I was sent a long, long time ago and I've never gotten around to it, so I think we'll pull that one down. The Dead House, I think I'm gonna hold on to. I read another book by this author, actually this one right here. I just read this um, over the summer and it was interesting enough that I think I would read another one of her books. So I'm going to hold on to those. The Wolf Road, this is a book that I've had for a long time and I don't know anything about it. So let's look at that. I'm going to keep all of the Grady Hendrix books. He's one of my favorite authors. I'm also keeping Year of the Witching. I loved this book. Kill Creek, I think I might pull down. I did try to read this at one point and I could not get into it. Keeping Bunny. I'm keeping Plain Bad Heroines. Those are two books that I really liked. The News Flesh series by Mira Grant. I'm keeping. I haven't read this yet, but it is high on my TBR. And then these three, I think are all ones that I don't really know that much about. So I'm going to pull them down and we can take a look at them. Okay. Then we have this shelf right here, which I read the majority of the books on here. So all of these I'm going to keep. These are all like YA horror books that I really love. These these Kate Alice Marshall books, amazing. Wilder Girls, you guys know that's a favorite. This one, um, The Books of Living Secrets, I have not read yet, but I do really, really want to read. I do have the, a video in mind for that. Katrina Leno books, love keeping those. I'm keeping all of my Christina Henry books. I have not read all of these yet, but I have loved the books that I've read from her, so I want to keep them all. And then obviously, 
we know I'm keeping that. One of my favorite books ever. Here's the next little stack that I pulled. So Kill Creek, like I said, I did try to read this and I really just could not get into it. So I think we're gonna get rid of that. The rest of these are all ones that I don't know that much about. I feel like I should just be going with my gut here. The Changeling, I actually am just now remembering I did try to read this and I DNF'd it. So let's just get rid of that. This is one that was sent to me. I'm actually realizing, I think one of the reasons I held onto this is because the author's name was Michael Scott. And I was like, Michael Scott from The Office. If that's not actually him, he just, that's just his name. We're gonna get rid of it. Sorry, Michael Scott. Wolf Road, this is a book I've never heard anything about. However, that's, I don't think that would be a reason why I'd get rid of it. I do have a, like a tab in here. Did I start reading this? Maybe I did start reading this and this is where I stopped. I don't know why else there would be a tab. Wait a minute, this is a post-apocalyptic book? About a little girl and a man who kidnapped her, but she doesn't know that he kidnapped her? <gasps> And they're in the wilderness. Oh my God, wait, this sounds really good. I'm pretty sure I've owned this for like seven years. Let's hold on to this, oh my God. See, this is one of the things that like going through my shelves in depth like this, I could find things that have been there forever that I just like did not know about. That sounds great actually. The Unquiet, this is about, oh, there are two earths, almost identical in every way. Two copies of every person, every city, every stone or blade of grass. But one earth is slowly disappearing. Lirial has been training since she was a child to be a merciless sleeper soldier. Her mission is to kill her duplicate. Wait, that sounds amazing too. I think I've talked about some videos before, but I love clones or alternate selves. And I've always said if there was another version of me in like another alternate universe or something, I would kill her. I'd hunt her down and kill her because I know the way that I think. So I know the way that she would think and she would be thinking the exact same way. So I know that she would be coming after me to kill me. So I would have to kill her first. And it's like a paradox because I know that she would kill me because I know that I would kill her. So I would have to kill her before she killed me. Does that make sense? <laughs> This sounds great too, oh my god. Little darlings, oh my god, it looks like it's about changelings. A mother who has twins and then she sees someone try to take her babies and replace them and she thinks that they're not her babies anymore. Okay, this sounds really good too. These all actually sound great and I would still really like to read those, so we're keeping those. Right here we have all of my Star Wars books which I think I might get rid of these. We can talk about them. Maybe I will get rid of some of them, keep other ones, but we'll pull those down. These two books, I think I do want to keep. I mean, I am very interested in them. I'm just not in the mood for sci-fi all the time, but that doesn't mean that like I want to get rid of all my sci-fi books because I do love sci-fi. The Psychology of Time Travel, I also really want to keep. Alice Payne Arrives, I want to keep. This is actually a book that I've tried to read in several like themed reading vlogs. I always try to fit it into them and then I never end up getting to it, <laughs> so maybe one day that'll happen. Both of these, Annalie Newitz books, I really wanna keep. People recommend me these all the time, specifically this one. Space Between Worlds, I read this and I didn't love it, so I might pull that one off. This is one that was sent to me, um, and I don't really know much about it, so we'll take a look at that. This book right here is like one of the lowest rated books on my TBR, which is one of the reasons why I've held on to it, so I think I'm gonna keep it. The Echo Wife by Sarah Gailey, I think I'm gonna get rid of. I was not a fan of this book, I gave it two stars. And then both of these are books that I do wanna read eventually, but again, when I'm in a sci-fi mood, it's very rare, so we'll hold on to those. Avalon and Polaris, these are young adult books. I just don't really feel the need to hold onto them. I haven't read them. I've owned them for like probably 10 years. It's time for them to go. Same with this. I've had this for a very, very long time and just never even made the attempt to read it. I don't know. Maybe we'll take a look at it. Obviously, we're keeping Project Hail Mary. This is my favorite sci-fi book ever. I think I'm going to unhaul War Girls. This again was an arc that was sent to me and I think it's young adult, which I'm probably gonna get rid of like 99% of the young adult books that I have. This I wanna keep, it is a series that I really wanna start. I really wanna keep these Sylvia Nouveau books. I've read the first one, still need to finish off that series. This one I've had for a very, very long time, so I think I'm gonna get rid of it. This one I read, it is a sci-fi Sherlock Holmes retelling, which sounded really cool in theory, but I didn't really love it. This I do wanna keep. These two I'm keeping, I've read them and really loved them. This one one is a young adult arc. I've had it for so long. I think we're gonna pull that one down. I'm keeping this. This is a five star. Love that book. Also going to be keeping this. I have it saved for 
a video that I'm doing. This book, I think I might pull this one down. I bought a lot of Cassandra Rose Clark books and I have them spread out throughout my bookshelves. And I have read some of her books, but I just don't really know if this one's for me. So we'll pull that one off. And then all three of these I've read and really liked. So we're hanging on to them. All of my Star Wars books. Here's the thing. I am a big Star Wars fan. I used to be definitely more of a fan than I am now. So I have all of these Star Wars books. I've read a few of them. So I think all of the Star Wars books are going to go. Especially like a lot of these are young adult Star Wars books. I just don't, I don't really think I want to keep them anymore. I just feel like there's some other Star Wars fan out there that they would get better use of them than I would. These, I have read all of them. Like I said, I didn't like any of these, so we'll just go ahead and get rid of those. The rest of these I have not read and I don't know much about them. So let me just quickly read the synopses. Synopsises? Synopses. Mm, I don't know about that. These are young adult, so I think we're gonna just get rid of them. This one, <sighs> whoa. I have no idea what the synopsis just, just, just said. This is not English, no. My brain can't handle that. Fortune's Pawn. I feel like I've read or have other books that sound similar to this. This is also young adult. I don't think I'm gonna read that. I'm not just outright getting rid of everything that's young adult. I just realistically, like, I only read one or two young adult books in a whole year. There's no reason I need to have all of the young adult that I have. Another young adult we're just gonna get rid of. Our Lady of the Ice. A city in a glass dome. Okay. Wait a minute, this actually sounds Kind of interesting. There's a glass dome protecting the city from a frozen world. This actually kind of gives me vibes of um what's that movie? Oh my god. It's like one of my favorite movies with Chris Evans and he's on a train. Hold on, I have to Google this. It's gonna bug me. I love this movie. Snowpiercer. Oh my god, why could I not think of that? It kind of reminds me of Snowpiercer, but instead of a train, it's a domed city. I think I'll keep this actually. Moving up here, I think I'm going to keep this. I have heard good things about it. I do want to try a book by this author. These two I'm keeping. I read the first book, really liked it. Still need to read the sequel. This one I'm going to keep. I've been saving it. As you can see, it's blurbed by Sean and Maguire. Both of these I've read and didn't really like either of them, so we'll pull those down. All of these are books that I don't know that much about, but I do want to hang on to both of these. They sound interesting. This one is a anthology collection, which I don't normally like, but there is a story by Sean and Maguire in here, so I do think I want to hold on to it so at least I can read that short story. A She Who Became the Sun, I've read and I am keeping. I am keeping The Beautiful Ones. I really, really want to read this. This one is also a book that I really would like to read. All of these I have read, but I think the only one I'm going to hang on to is Prosper's Demon. I really liked that. The rest of these were all kind of like two or three stars, so we'll take those down. Norse Mythology, I'm keeping. Karen Memory, I read. I really liked this. Um, it's a steampunk, so we're gonna keep that. I'm keeping all of my T. King Fisher books that I have here. These aren't all the books that I have from her. These are just like the fantasy ones. Obviously, we're keeping those. Obviously, we're keeping all these Sean and Maguire books. These two are novellas that I've read. Really loved those. These two are books that I've had on my TBR for a long time. I'm still very interested in them. I've read this, really liked it, so we're keeping that. These two are books that I don't really know that much about, so we'll take a look at those. Both of these Nikki Drayden books I do really want to read at some point, so we'll keep those. This is a novella that I really would like to read. This I still am very interested in. Okay, this shelf we're actually gonna go through pretty quickly because I don't think there's anything really on here that I want to get rid of. My fantasy series, I sort of unhaul all the time because I don't read like high fantasy a lot. So these are all ones that either I've started reading and I still want to finish or I still would really like to start at some point. Yeah, I don't think there's anything up there that I want to get rid of. So moving on. This shelf, you guys know, this is my favorites shelf. So nothing on there is leaving. I'm keeping all of those, of course. Okay, here's the next little stack that I have pulled off. Like I said, these five Whoop, if I can hold all of them. These five I've read. And I gave them all three or below stars. Um, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. Witch Marked, Miranda and Milan, The Affair of the Mysterious Letter, Burning Roses, and then Empress of Salt and Fortune. And then these two I don't know much about, so let's read about them. I mean, this doesn't sound bad. I just don't, I don't think I would read this. This one, it's in New Orleans. It's about a witch. This actually sounds really interesting. Witches are disappearing. She has to solve what's happening to them. I think I'm gonna keep this. So here's more sci-fi books. I think a lot of these are ones that I have already read or started reading. Hench, the heroine series, 
Vicious, all of those I'm keeping. This is one of those Cassandra Rose Clark books I was talking about, but this is one I actually think I'm still very interested in reading, so we'll keep that one. I also do really wanna read this Mary Robinette Kowal series. The first book I have somewhere, I don't know where it is though. Octavia Butler, I still really wanna read that. These books, I don't really know much about them, so we'll take a look at those. Conductors, I want to keep. This one I do have saved for a video. Recursion by Blake Crouch, I might get rid of this. Actually, you know what? This should go with my book of the month stuff. So we'll we'll put that aside. The Power, I really liked that book. We're keeping. Illuminae, also keeping. I think I want to hang on to all of these novellas. I've read almost all of them. And then the ones that I haven't read, I'm still interested in. So we're going to hang on to all of those. I don't really think there's anything in here that I want to get rid of. Yeah, I actually think I'm going to hang on to all of these books. I've read almost all of them. And then there's a couple that I haven't read that I still would really like to. So we'll keep all those. This little section of books here is just kind of random. I think I might get rid of the Atlas Six. I don't know, we'll pull that down, I'll think about it. Um, I didn't love it that much. The rest of these, I'm gonna keep. Keeping the Lord of the Rings books. I've had these since I was like a kid. This section also, a lot of these are new purchases slash books that I have read. Don't know if there's anything in here that I wanna get rid of. This is another shelf. I think I'm gonna keep everything. I've read a lot of these. These three books, really love those. The Book of the Unnamed Midwife, that's like a favorite. I really wanna read these other Emily St. John Mandel books. Moon of the Crusted Snow, I really wanna read that. Piranesi, I'm probably reading for a video soon. Kay Ancrum, these books are like some of my favorites. And I feel like I haven't talked about them a lot recently, but I love those books. Oh, actually, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I did DNF this. I was not really a fan. Here is the next little stack. I do think I'm gonna get rid of the Atlas Six. I just didn't like this enough to hold on to it. It is a very beautiful book, but it was three stars. I don't really think I need to keep it. Same with this. I DNF'd this and I don't think I would ever pick it up again. And then these two are part of the same series. Okay, I think this one's the sequel. So this is this is the first one. Um, in an alternate 1906, the United States and Japan have forged a powerful confederation in an attempt to dominate the world. Eh. I don't know. Again, kind of like with my fantasy shelf, I really unhaul my fantasy books more so than other genres, so I think these are all ones that I still want to read, slash a lot that I have read. Bone Shard Daughter, Spinning Silver, love those books. Black Sun, love that. The whole Winter Night Trilogy, love that. TJ Klune down at the end, and then those Elise Kova books at the very end, super underrated. That's a really fun, like, steampunk fantasy series. So I think I'm gonna keep all of those. Down here, I do think there's some I can get rid of here. I think um, I'm gonna get rid of The Once in Future Witches. I did DNF this. It just was not for me. However, I think I will try again with her other book. These I've read, really like that series. These I still want to read. This is one of my favorite fantasy books. So great. So I still really want to read the companion book. I do think I'm going to get rid of this one. I just don't think realistically I'm ever going to read this. I'm going to get rid of Circe. I did not like this book. And then the rest I think I'm going to hold on to. Those are all books that are still on my TBR and I would still like to read. And then down at the bottom, sorry, this is like a terrible angle. And it's also like kind of back in a corner of my chair. I can't really get back there that well. But I think the only books on this shelf that I would that I want to get rid of are these four on the end. These, I just don't feel like I'm actually ever going to read them. Here's the next stack. All very chunky fantasy books. These four, I definitely think I'm going to get rid of. They're all very long and I just don't think I would actually ever read them. I actually DNF'd both of these and I just don't read enough high fantasy to like hold on to a bunch. Cersei, you guys know, did not like this book. I'm keeping Song of Achilles, so I think I can get rid of this one. This is another fantasy book. I tried to get into it and I just... I couldn't, I was struggling. This book is also very heavy, oh my God. Once in Future Wishes, I also DNF'd. I really did not like this. This shelf also has like a mixture of things. All of these nonfiction books, I do wanna keep. I've read some of them, still planning to read the other ones. I just don't read nonfiction that often. I do wanna hold on to them. Same with um, some of these classics. I do really wanna hold on to those. I am gonna be getting rid of this, I think. I did DNF it. I couldn't really get into it. Same with this book. I also, I can't, actually can't remember if I finished this or not, but I didn't like it. And then these we're gonna hang on to. This one I loved, gave this five stars. And then those three are kind of newer books that I got in the past couple of months. And then we're gonna ignore what's down here. These are all book of the month books. Actually, this one's not. 
this one we can get rid of. I did not like that at all. The rest are book of the month ones, so we'll put those aside for now. This bottom shelf, I've read everything on this shelf and I'm gonna hold on to all of them. These are all books that are kind of newer onto my TBR, so we're gonna keep those. We're keeping Finlay Donovan. I've read all of these, we're keeping those. I think we'll maybe get rid of this one. I don't know if I'm actually ever gonna read this. Night Film, I do still wanna hold on to. I might read that someday, even though I've had this book literally since I was a freshman in college. Black Iris, I really liked. Bird Box, really liked. Yeah, we're gonna hang on to all of those. Here is the last little stack that I have. These three are all ones that I DNF, so I'm just gonna get rid of those. I don't think I would ever finish them. And this one I read and I hated it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I have 50 books here that I am unhauling. I feel like this is a good place to stop and I'm gonna take these over to Half Price Books and we're gonna sell them immediately, just get rid of them. I'm unhauling a lot more books than I was anticipating so we actually didn't even get this entire other section of my bookshelf. I think we'll do that in the next video. Plus the young adult section, we'll also save that for the next one. But 50 books for the first part is pretty good. If I keep that up and get rid of 50 books in every single episode, I feel like That'll be perfect. I don't know actually if that's gonna happen. So yeah, let's now take these over to Half Price Books and see how much I can get for them. I do just wanna say I am donating a lot of books. All my books are kind of gonna be, gonna be going to different places. Some I'm gonna be selling at Half Price Books. Some I'm gonna be putting in, like I said, little free libraries around my neighborhood. A bunch of books I'm donating to this charity that's by me. But I think all of these I'm gonna take over to Half Price Books. All right, so I just got out of Half Price Books and for those three bags, they gave me $67 which I feel like was pretty good. So that is gonna be the end of this unhaul. But again, this is a long process. We are only just now cracking the surface. So stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you guys for watching.